Want a lush lawn that is the envy of your neighborhood? A high maintenance lawn could be your style. Here are tips, tools, and materials you will need. The most important steps for success are mowing, weeding, fertilizing, watering, overseeding, and aerating. You'll learn the basics and we'll throw in a few lawn maintenance tips that'll save you time and money. Let's get to work. Mowing technique is important. Spring and fall are prime mowing times. Mulch mow your lawn all season by making multiple passes. The goal of mulch mowing is to chop up grass into smaller and smaller pieces that break down quickly. As these clippings become smaller, they will break down and nourish the roots, becoming free fertilizer. Expert tips. Set the blade at about two or more inches. When mowing in summer, increase the height of mower blades to encourage root growth. Overseeding. If you have gaps or bare soil in your lawn, overseeding in spring and fall helps fill in those blanks with grass, not more weeds. Dethatching before overseeding will give you the best result. The goal of dethatching is to remove dead grasses and stems from the lawn area. After overseeding, cover the entire area with one quarter inch deep compost. It helps keep the seed in place and to retain water. Make sure you keep the seeds moist for a week, either through the rain or light frequent watering. Tips. The best time for fall overseeding is around Labor Day weekend because the soil is warm and encourages seed germination. Be sure to water and avoid walking on the newly reseeded area until the grass establishes. What if you have a bunch of weeds in your lawn? The key with weeds is making sure they don't go to seed. By mowing before weeds go to seed, you can help stop them from spreading. Or you can remove weeds with a tool or spot spray. Avoid weed and feed products that combine weed killer and fertilizer. Weed and feed products often include more ingredients than your lawn needs at any one point in time. The best time to apply fertilizer is not always the best time to apply herbicide. Also, spreading herbicide over the entire lawn is often not necessary. A few more tips. Hand pull weeds in lawns as needed. Fertilize your lawn separately from weeding. If you choose to use a weed killer, use the spot spraying method to kill individual weeds. Make sure to follow the label instructions to find out how long to wait before reseeding. By separating these two products, you can apply them at the right time and in the right quantity. With lawn chemicals, aim to use only what you need to protect water quality. Fertilizing, remember to feed your lawn. To finish off the lawn maintenance cycle, apply a slow release fertilizer in late fall. Sweep up any granules that fall on the pavement. A late season fertilizer application is the most effective because it jump starts your grass for next season. A few more useful tips. An additional application of fertilizer in spring can be added around Memorial Day to increase your lawn's health. Mulch mowing adds about the equivalent of one fertilizer application through the course of a year. And now to a key ingredient, H2O. To have a lush lawn in the summer, watering will be needed. A good basic rule is to make sure it gets one to 1.5 inches of water per week. Another tip, keep in mind that watering during the morning or evening helps conserve water. Aerating your lawn relieves compaction and helps water reach the roots. If you want to aerate your lawn, it's best to aerate before dethatching and then overseeding. Just remember, there are four lawn care practices you should follow for a high maintenance lawn. Overseed one or two times per year. Fertilize in the spring and fall. Remove weeds before they go to seed and keep your lawn watered all summer.